Winston Edmonton here with Studio B, here at IBM Edge 2013. I've got uh, Norbert Dawalibi from Glasshouse Systems. I understand that uh, you were recognized by IBM today. Tell me about that. Okay, Winston. We, uh, we won the award for uh, our performance in storage. Uh, and that is something that's very important for us because uh, it is a big strategy that we have. Uh, what we realize when we look at the environment today is that uh, data is, has become the most critical asset for enterprises. Yeah. And that's what we're focused on. We are focused on large enterprise customers. And uh, when we look at what they're doing right now with, the, with data, like uh, there's been an explosion in the last few years in terms of the amount of data and type of data that our customers need to deal with. And the approach that we've been taking is to work with those customers as consultants to look at what are their business requirements, understand the technical aspects of what they're trying to do, and come up with a solution that really meets the requirements for exactly what they need to, to do in terms of their business. Gotcha. And, and that has become very successful for us with our customers because it sounds like they it. do appreciate it. Well, t tell me, because I hear this a lot, and uh, just for the folks that maybe uh, are very interested in, in everything that's happening here at IBM Edge, tell me about this explosion in data. What is the root source? Why all of a sudden, are these companies just now dealing with too much data that's like more than they can handle? Where's this coming from? Well, it's coming from everywhere these days because there's been an explosion in the type um, of uh, um, equipment that uh, customers and, uh, and users and, and consumers are using. So everybody today has smartphones, tablets, uh, um, everything has been digitized. So whereas before it used to be only the typical corporate tra financial transactions and so on, now you have an explosion of data in terms of pictures, videos, uh, text, uh, uh, from Twitter to <laughs> social, and all of that data is coming together. And, and enterprises have uh, now are realizing there's a tremendous amount of information that they can action, that they can take advantage of if they understand their customer. Where, what is he thinking? What is he doing? And taking advantage of that uh, huge amount of data becomes very critical for them. So, so as consumers and, and um, gain more tools and they're accessing their, their information in, in more ways, it's just creating this kind of buildup of data. And that's only going to increase. I mean, we, you've got smart thermostats and smart refrigerators and you're going to, I mean, just the data is going to exponentially increase. So Absolutely. you offer solutions that can help manage that. Uh, you know, but rather than just have kind of this junk drawer full of just stuff, you can actually manage it and, and, and like you use said, it. use it. Absolutely. Actionable. Interesting. And, and that's what we do. We, like, we take advantage of all the development and the R&D that IBM has done. They, they've created fantastic products. They do understand the enterprise. It's one thing to collect the data, store it, but also how do you manage it? How do you protect it? How do you secure it? How do you use it in a way that actually you can take advantage of? And from that perspective, we have a tremendous relationship with IBM and we leverage all the products that they've developed. And uh, that is our expertise. We have people who have a long experience in the enterprise who really understand this environment. And we work very closely with our customers in this consultative uh, fashion to really come up with a solution for what they need. I like that. Let's talk to some potential customers that maybe they're in a situation where they're just realizing that, you know what, we do have a lot of data that we're, we're not using effectively. Walk us through what a consultation or what that process might look like if they give you a call and you, and you come out to help. Absolutely. So the first thing we would do is to ask them about their business requirements. What are they trying to do? Who are they trying to, what are they trying to find? Who are they trying to target? What kind of data they're collecting today? What kind of data they would like to collect? And then translate that into what we call a data infrastructure. And, it, uh, and really understand how, it's, how you should put it together, because not all data is the same. Some of it is very critical in terms of being absolutely correct. Some of it is making sure that you can collect it all and analyze it, maybe not in real time or in real time. So we really spend the time to understand what are the business requirements and taking the time from there to build the technical data infrastructure for them and show them how they can migrate from where they are to this new environment where, where they can actually exploit the, that data. It's like a strategic kind of data map that just shows them where they are, where they want to be, and then you kind of help navigate. Yes. Interesting. Very good. So um, walk us through what may be a, a, case, a case study, mm -hmm. maybe a, a business that you've helped, not a specific business, but a, you know, a type of business. What uh, were you able to extrapolate and how were you able to create some additional business opportunities? 
Okay, so one example was that where a customer already had a, um, a number of data, um, um, how would I say, containers, lots of different places within the enterprise. And they were trying to see how they could put it all together and manage it in a way that was unified. So we sat down with them, we went through all the different requirements, all the different uh, things that they already had installed, and what they were looking for in the future, and we came up with a solution that actually took advantage of what they already had, but being able to manage it in a much easier way, much better way, and control it, and build from there in terms of the future. Okay. And a very satisfied <laughs> customer from there. Good. Now, uh, I, I would imagine the first hurdle that you might encounter are folks that are dragging their feet, they don't want to uh, change, you know, change is difficult. But let's say you overcome that hurdle, and then another hurdle sometimes is financial aspect. Sometimes organizations feel like they can't afford to to make this happen. I noticed that you uh, actually offer some some financing uh, opportunities that can help organizations that know it's time to get this done to somehow get it done. Tell, tell me a little bit about that. Absolutely. Uh, there again, what we do is we leverage uh, the IBM financing, IBM Global Financing offerings. Um, so we, we do understand the environment and what customers need to do in terms of cash flows and how critical cash is. So we do leverage, again, some of the, uh, the, uh, the offerings that IBM has, and we bring them to the table to the customers. So we can show them quite often solutions that uh, where they end up spending less per month than what they were spending wow. before and at the same time uh, taking advantage of the new technology and, and uh, building from there. Pretty exciting. For folks that uh, are sold now, they, they've, they've heard what we have to say and they're ready to move forward, what's the best way to get in touch with you and learn more? Oh, uh, the easiest way is to find us on the, uh, on the web at glasshousesystems.com um, and um, we're, we would be delighted to uh, meet with you and uh, like I said, spend the time to understand the business and help you out in terms of a big data infrastructure for you. And there's no risk in at least having a chat and kind of seeing what it looks like, so you might as well get that done. Absolutely. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Norbert, thanks for joining us. Winston Edmondson, Studio B, signing out.